this started with uh, me and Igor. Um, he came here from Florida and it was um, because of the isolation and, and uh, there's not not much to do. So I just start hanging out with him and we start jamming riffs and, and that quickly escalated to this is badass. This We are writing some amazing, like he writes awesome riffs. Um, I was very excited. So it, it was cool because we, we went to our other house, our mountain house, and we did a routine of, of jamming all day long and then watching all her movies at night, like black and white, all her movies. And that became like the thing that we just did and that kick started. Uh, we made a demo with the drum machine and uh, with all the songs. And then we got Zach in the picture, you know, I love uh, his work with Black Kurtz. Most, you know, I love Chemist too, you know, but uh, I knew um, I was very, very heavily uh, inspired by the Black Curse record he just did. And we have a mutual friend called Arthur Risk. And I call Arthur, Ar Ar Arthur highly recommended that we use Zach. And, uh, and it was great, man. He came down to the mountain house and we jammed hard. We went on for like a week. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's something I always really wanted to do with Igor. I have a big connection with him from when he was very little. We have a metal connection, father and son metal connection, that n it was never broken or separated through the years we kept it. And this record is the coolest uh, fruit of that connection. Uh, writing was about three, three to four months, right? Yeah. And then once we got you involved, uh, yeah, I another month. And you could give month. your side yeah. of the of writing and how it was to come out with us and yeah, do I got, all that. Got in your car and drove it. Tell yeah. the whole experience. Yeah, all in all, <laughs> it's five months. And yeah, you can give your side of the story. Yeah, I mean the the songs were most fully formed uh, when I got them with the with the drum machine demos and. Uh, then I drove down from Denver and stayed at the house, and we practiced all day um, for, man, how, how, I mean, almost a week, I guess. Yeah. And uh, we were, like, still kind of, like, changing up parts. We would work out, you know, um, different beats for different sections and how long, and um, kind of, like, we're, we're honing them in there all the way up to the studio. And after about a week of playing together pretty intensively, we went to the studio and, and tracked it. So it was, it came together really fast for for me, especially right on the end there. Um, and it was super intense. It was just like living the music, living and breathing it for a week and it was badass. So when we went to the studio, it was just super focused and intense and, you know, right on the whole time. During the recording, we we did our at a platinum underground which is owned by john Acalino, and he's a he's a great guy and it's his studio so he helped a lot but we also brought in charles uh from abysmal dawn he uh, he had done some some mixing he, he has knowledge of studio um but he was not really a, a real producer it was more like a Kind of like a like an engineer helping with the technical side of, of the stuff. I think the production itself was us, was mostly me and Igor. You know, we produced it ourselves, um, and then we gave it to Arthur Risk to to mix and master. And Arthur did a great job because he just he's so knowledgeable of this. He makes us. I, I want to sound like it just came out out of 1987. And it sounds just like that, you know. Yeah. It's it's it's, a, it's like a, it's like amazing. It's like a going to a time tunnel kind of record, but really, really with a with a nor, uh, a modern heavy sound, which it embraced yeah. both eras. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like a like a modern, like, kind of death metal hardcore mashup yeah. type thing, um, done with an old school style of recording and sound and shit like that. So that blend is is evident in the music and that's thanks to us producing it and then Arthur uh giving it those final final touches yeah uh it helped it if anything it it gave me and my dad time that usually we wouldn't have he's one of the busiest men in metal he's on tour for like 10 months out of the year um so 
really the pandemic helped because we had the time to do it. We were quarantined, um, trying to stay home, trying to not get sick and stuff. So uh, it, it was good in that sense. And then it, it also fueled us. It, it makes you angry being cooped up and, and knowing people are dying and, and all this shit's going on, you know. So if anything, yeah, it, it, it lent to the aggression of the album and having the time to do it and a couple, you know, a couple different factors. Yeah, but I think all of us in general felt uh, amazingly lucky to be able to do this in a time where you cannot do much stuff. Like, you know, the shows all stopped and so you can't really go on tour. Um, so if you stay home too long without doing nothing, you go nuts. You literally go insane. So this game, it saved us, you know, yeah. and I think I speak for the three of us. Yeah. 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 Like he... I'm sure it was great for you to get out of your house and, and come Absolutely. and record and <laughs> yeah. jam, you know. The, really, like, uh, coming down to make the album was the first big trip I had done since, you know, COVID hit. So it, it was great to be able to have something to do um, outside of going to work every day and the normal routine. Yeah. This was nice to get away and do something, you know. 